happy Oh, they just want someone happy This is the moment you gotta cling to Yeah, we want to make you happy tonight, ladies and gentlemen It's great to be with you I, I certainly won't try to upset you I promise I won't ask you to do that Because <laughs> they're all trying that, you know Have you seen Dave Allen? He said, have you watched Ted Rogers on three, two and a half? <laughs> Larry Grayson tried it, but he couldn't keep his wrists up long enough. <laughs> no, but it's not easy to be that happy when you think about it today, although I'm terrifically happy to be in this particular theatre, because, you know, I played here when it was a variety theatre. Then, of course, they closed it and turned it into a TV studio. I wouldn't care, but they closed it while I was still performing. <laughs> no, but I've worked here with all of them, you know. I mean, OK, it might have been a long time ago. I've worked here with the Beatles. I've worked here with the Searchers, Jerry and the Pacemakers. Rod Stewart. <laughs> I cancelled the concert the other day, his voice got better. <laughs> if you really love me, do you think I'm sexy? No, but my Afghan hound does. Because <laughs> it takes its toll of him as well. I mean, look at Elton John. A couple of years ago, he had to pack it in and go into hospital. He was in the intensive hair unit. <laughs> <laughs> but it's so hard, isn't it, when you think back just a few weeks ago, could you believe that Mick Jagger today is 40? It's unheard of. 40? Mick Jagger? Still the only fella I know who can seal an envelope once it's inside a pillar box. <laughs> That's how he got that gimmick. One day was frying sausages in the nude. That's why Bianca left him. Didn't like the way he kissed her ears, both at once. <laughs> Well, I'm going to be seeing you a bit later on, ladies and gentlemen, but right now, it's my pleasure to introduce you to four great people I have worked with many times before, terrific singers and a great talent. Will you welcome Stutz Bearcats? They're racking their brain to think of a name To give to this tune so Perry can crew Then maybe old Bing will give it a thing and that'll start everyone humming the thing. The melody's gone. Repeat and repeat. Repeat and repeat. But if you can swing, if you can swing it's got a good beat. I'm at the main thing to make, make it complete. Cause, Cause everyone's swinging today. The first one is not for Sammy K. Now tell me who's here. He writes it for me. Bop. There's never a doubt. There's never a doubt. Whenever you could hear of this one.
Ladies and gentlemen, come here. <laughs> I'm sorry I'm late. I couldn't find the M6. I couldn't find the M6 motorway. I had to go up the M3 twice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I saw this sign on the motorway. Yeah. Oh, no, it was there. <laughs> it said, clean toilets ahead. And it took me nearly three hours to clean them toilets. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I broke down, you know, and I fell on the motorbike. Give me a lift here. Yeah? I said, fell on the motorbike. Come here. That's the first time I've been on a sidecar. He said, I don't have a sidecar. <laughs> I said, no wonder I'm out of breath. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, is the door closed? Come here. I don't get on with that landlady. The other day I said, uh, is that coffee I smell? She said, it is, and you do. <laughs> she said, I want you to wear a clean pair of socks every day for a week. And when it came to Saturday, I couldn't get my wellies on. <laughs> and there's more, there's more. One night I came in, yeah. I don't want this to go any further. Come here, Lisa. I came in. She said, where have you been? I said, the cemetery. She said, who's dead? I said, they all are. <laughs> she said, there's been a fella knocking the door with a beard. I said, it's a wonder you could hear him. She said, I'm giving you two days to pay your rent. I said, right, I'll have Christmas Eve and Good Friday. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I got this letter from my mommy and Bally go backwards. <laughs> oh. She said, dear son, this is only a short letter because the stamps keep going up. <laughs> your brother, Sean, while serving six months in prison, had his tonsils, his appendix, and all his teeth taken out in the first month. The governor thinks he's escaping bit by bit. <laughs> and there's more. <laughs> I'm waiting to put the cat out but he hasn't come in yet. <laughs> you won't recognize the house when you come home. We've moved. <laughs> the little Jewish boy, Jaime, who lives across the street, makes the whole village laugh. He was in school, and Mr. Murphy said he'd give a pound note to any boy in the class that could tell him who was the greatest person that ever lived next to God. Jaime said St. Patrick and won the pound. <laughs> when he was asked how he knew, he said, well, really, teacher, it was Moses, but business is business. <laughs> All the best from your loving mummy. P.S. I am sending you three Wellingtons. As you said, since you've gone to England, you've grown another foot. <laughs> Thank you, ladies and gentlemen.
At fates and fairs and carnivals You look up in the sky And there are the red arrows In harmony on high Or maybe the red devils Will slowly parachute To earth with cans of coloured smoke Cemented to each boot But for genuine precision Don't look up in the air Look up for the beer tent There's bound to be one there And there you'll see togetherness And group coordination And if you're really lucky They'll give you a demonstration With the red eyes Formation drinking tea Arm in arm down every street we stream Singing together You'll never walk alone Walking into phone boxes And ripping out the phone With the red eyes And down the street we slide Weaving information from side to side Then we finish up the act With our most famous trick Where we dive and we roll over Then we're sick With the red eyes Formation drinking tea Full of piano and Bailey's Irish cream We'll pin you in a corner With our alcoholic breath Then we'll stab you with a finger While we bore you all to death With the red eyes and it's six o'clock each night On the motorway We're a terrifying sight Once again The formation drinking stars But this time in line abreast In our cars You'll hear us singing In the backs of trains Insulting waiters In the bar on planes At cricket matches We wear cans of beer Which we wave but the camera when the ball comes near On motor coaches we crowd in the tail Refueling in flight with a crate of light ale Then we take our trousers down at every passing car Oh God, we're funny Oh yes, we are Oh, we're the red eyes Formation drinking tea When we're together we make a sort of scream In restaurants we shout a lot And throw a food about Till all the other diners Have a rotten evening out With the red eyes But only in our spare time Like Cinderella At midnight's chime We stop walking sideways And fumbling for our keys And we go back To the Hello, Chess. I had the most wonderful dream last night. Oh, you've got to tell me. You know what? I just love dreams, Chess. Yes, I know you do. And do you know how fond I am of cricket? Yes, Chess. Well, I dreamt last night that I was representing England against Australia, the ancient adversary, in a cricket match, a test match at Lord's Cricket Ground. There was I in the pavilion, awaiting my turn to bat. A wicked fell, my turn arrived. I strode onto the hallowed turf, immaculate in whites. There I beheld Gregory, their demon bowler. Marking off an incredibly long run, he came tearing down, delivered the ball. It was an outswinger. It pitched wide and swung even wider. I rocked back on my heels, and I had a slash outside the off stump. <laughs> it went to the boundary like a rocket. <laughs> I had won the match for England. Well, that's a bit of a dream, isn't it, really? Lovely. Very lovely. I mean, you won the match and you walked to the pitch at the same time. <laughs> Dear. Finally, uh, funny enough, I, uh, thank you. <clears throat> I, had, I had a bit of a dream myself last you night. You must tell me. Yes, uh, I, dream, I was at home, see, I was dreaming, I was at home and I was pottering about, you know, like your door, all of yes, a sudden of the door went. Yes. I don't mean like it went, went, you know no, what I mean? No. It went, someone <laughs> banged your door. They would do. So I, I go down the hall and I open the door. Who do you think stood there? Well, I've no idea. Marlena Dirtrack. 
<laughs> Marlena Dirtrack. Marlena Dirtrack was stood at my front door. I, I, I couldn't believe it. You can't even say it. <laughs> <laughs> so I said, go on. I says, hello, Marlena, I says. Yes. I says, won't you come in? Mm. She says, uh, Unt, I am very tired. I have been feeling Unt the ganz Tag. Ah, uh, West Indian, was she? <laughs> I don't know, she might have been, she looked well, nice colour and again. <laughs> she said, uh, I'm tired, may I come in, see? So I said, yeah, come in and have a bit of rest. So she goes down the hall and she gets into the bedroom and lays down on the bed, you see? Yes. And she's got the top and the stick there, you know what I mean? I said, can I get you something to eat or something, Marlene? So she says, uh, well, she says, uh, I wouldn't mind perhaps a bockwurst und ein Bier. A bockwurst? Yes, it's a, well, it's a, it's a German sausage, isn't it? You know what I mean, a bockwurst? She said, well, funnily enough, it's what they have in Germany, you see, and I'd been out shopping that day, I'd been in the Blooms, I got myself a wurst. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> blooms? Blooms, this little Irish cafe in Allgate. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, wait, all of a sudden the door goes again, so who do you think's there this time? Well, I've no idea. Greta Garbo. <laughs> Greta Garbo? Yes. Greta Garbo stood at my front door and this, you, you, Stood there in a see-through night. You could see right through it. You could see a vest and everything. <laughs> and she's got the hat on. The hat, like that. The yes, hat, see? Yes, yes. And she says, I want to be alone. Oh, she was West Indian too, wasn't she? <laughs> <laughs> I said, well, she said, I want to be alone. I said, come and see me in variety. <laughs> I said, come in. I said, I've got a friend of yours here. Marlene Dirtrax in there and in the bedroom. They're having a push, you know, kind of a drink in it. <laughs> I'm not keeping you up. No, no, I'm no, fine. No, no. <laughs> so she goes in and she lays down. She's having a chat. I said, can I get you something? Uh, like, what's that, a grat? You know? Yeah. So she said, I wouldn't mind. She said, perhaps you've got uh, maybe uh, a lemon tea and a biscuit. Did you have the Garibaldi's? No, I had the operation instead. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Much better. Oh, so I don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> I take the train with the biscuits and that, and I give it to the biscuits and the lemon tea, and I jump in the bed. I've got the, the other one there with the, the wurst and the beer drinking. The cane. The cane yes. in the bed. And I've got the other one dunking the biscuits with the lemon tea, and I'm standing, standing in bed between the two of them. I don't know which way to turn. Well, why didn't you call for me? I did, but you were busy playing cricket for England. <laughs> To see things as before Without the fighting and the war When there was peace throughout the land Let's all see what we can give To make this world a better place to live You know we can Gather round the old piano sing Friends and neighbors, happy as can be. Let's make it plain. I'd like to see those good old days again. Let's make it plain. I'd like to see those good old days again.
You never listen to me, babe. Now I've seen the light. Oh, darling, there ain't no pleasing you. And you ladies are lovely, but there's no pleasing some of you, especially my woman. <laughs> I mean, let's be honest, fellas. Give your wife a long, lingering kiss when you go out to work in the morning. You're the incredible Hulk. You try doing the same thing when you're getting into bed at night, you're a JR. <laughs> but it's changed. Never mind the pop group's changing. I mean, marriage has changed, isn't it? I mean, at one time, a honeymoon was a voyage of discovery. Today, it's more like a stroll down memory lane, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> no, but you see, love, be honest. I mean, you do realise this. I mean, is that your husband sitting next to you? No, that's it. He said, that's right. You see, you're right. I'm glad I'm not alone. You see, all you've heard for years has been, what, the male chauvinism? You've heard women's lip. Do you know, no one's ever done anything about men's lips. How do you feel about men's lip? Yes. You and me against the world, eh? <laughs> Come on, that's it. Start it here. Men's lip. We'll blow up our wife fronts. <laughs> Be proud, fellas. Put a candle to your comms. <laughs> Light up your long johns. They say they're the weaker sex. <laughs> ever tried to pull the bed covers back when she's got them on? <laughs> It takes more tugs than it does to get the Queen Elizabeth into Southampton, doesn't it? <laughs> There's one for you. Have you ever beaten her to bed? Now, come on, you can own up to me, have you? It's impossible, isn't it? Shoom, they're in like a flash. Good luck to you. You might get there first tonight. I hope for a start you're married. You are, aren't you? Good luck. You'll get there. Two minutes, 40 seconds, you'll fade. Bang goes the wardrobe door. <laughs> On goes the bedroom light. Oh! <laughs> so you're asleep? like you're a criminal lying in your own bed. <laughs> and you know she's in a bad mood. She's got her curlers in the don't you dare try anything tonight position. <laughs> That's radar, that, isn't it? Out come the pins, in goes the heavy artillery, the rollers. That's like sleeping on a bag of walnuts. <laughs> on goes the mud. She's got the cheek to lie there and look up and say, well, aren't you gonna kiss me goodnight? <laughs> kiss her, you'd have to put a ferret down to find her mouth. <laughs> There's a world food shortage going on. She's lying there with half an acre of good cropland going to waste. <laughs> and they never talk to you when you're in front of the box. Have you noticed that? You dare get to bed first, they attack. All right, fidget. What's up, fidget? Why do you fidget in this bed? Every night you're a fidget. Why do you fidget, fidget? Do you know why I fidget? Her and her electric blanket. I like the bed nice and cool. The, her, the Gobi Desert at noon. <laughs> Hot water bottle burst the other night. We had a rainbow. <laughs> It's getting a bit colder at night. The things you ladies wear to come to bed. Two cardigans, a pair of my old shorts, long woolen bed socks. I think, hello, a kickabout before the big match. <laughs> you lie there, don't you? Minding your own business, over comes an arm, over comes a leg. All the best stuff she keeps on her side. <laughs> hey, but here's the one. You've got to have this. They always save this one for 20 to 9 on a Sunday morning. Wouldn't it be nice if somebody got up and made me a lovely cup of tea? <laughs> somebody, have a look round the room. There's you and her. <laughs> look at you. You're not the man I married. You're not the man I married. So you're going through all this aggravation for another bloke. <laughs> what gets me is they condescend to cook your Sunday breakfast once every two months. You must have had that. But under what protest? Have you seen her at the stove? <clears throat> Your egg's broken. <laughs> There's two eggs in the pan, but it's your egg that's broken. <laughs> then you get the fate. Have you had the phone call from her lawyer? She's suing you for divorce. I said, on what grounds? He said, non-consummation. I said, it's a lie. I used to eat everything she put in front of me. <laughs> she said, no, you fool. She's talking about your love life. I said, I never speak ill of the dead. <laughs> He said, well, you know, she's fed up with Bogner and Torquay. Take her to Spain. They go to Spain next door. Uh, knew we were in trouble at Heathrow. Directly she went through that metal security frame. Ding -a -ling -a -ling -a -ling -a -ling -a the guard said, hello, I scored. I said, you're lucky I've not rung her a bell in 15 years. <laughs> he said, madam, I'm afraid I'm going to have to take you away and give you a complete body search, every nook and cranny. I said, if you find a St. Christopher dated 1980, it's mine. <laughs> Do you know, I went, I rang the bell, and I didn't, they have lovely, sexy girls that do this as well. She said, come on, sir, in here, strip everything off. I thought, blimey, one of those dudes. She said, bend over and put your feet wide apart. I thought, leapfrog at Heathrow? <laughs> to this day, I can't tell you what she did, but it shot my chewing gum straight across the room. <laughs> 
what I love, statistics prove you get they can't sleep with a jet lag. Women are not supposed to snore, have you listened? <laughs> Sounds like two warthogs mating in a bog, doesn't it? <laughs> So I'll tell you what, we've got it, we've been out and we've actually bought a waterbed. Now, I don't know whether you've got one. Have you got a waterbed? It'll brighten up your love life, I promise. You're riding along on the crest of the wave on that. <laughs> get yourself a waterbed, they need topping up, you don't even have to get out of bed. <laughs> That's it, Ken, three, four. <laughs> Fame, if you win it, comes and goes in a minute. While once you found her, built your world around her Make someone happy Make just one someone happy You've been a delight to play to. Thank you very much indeed. Goodbye, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, Eartha Kitt. of years ago. He was rather over hearty and ridiculous, but as I had seen him on the screen, he cast a certain spell. I basked in his affection for just an hour or so. His manners were a fraction too meticulous. If he was real or not, I couldn't tell. Mad about the boy. I know it's stupid, but I'm mad about the boy. I'm so ashamed of it, but must admit the sleepless nights I've had about the boy. On the silver screen, he melts my foolish heart. This mad diversity of misery and joy I'm feeling quite insane and on again and on I'm mad about the boy Seems a trifle silly that a worldly one is I should stand here in my loneliness and cry. I thought it was my head that ruled this foolish heart, but I'm in love. My head forgot to tell my heart. Could finally destroy this dream that keeps me and in chains me, but I can't because I'm mad about the
not sophisticated and the sweet and simple kind. I want an old fashioned house with an old fashioned fence and an old fashioned millionaire. I'd like a plain simple car, a cerise Cadillac, long enough to put a bowling alley in the back. I want an old fashioned house with an old fashioned fence and an old fashioned millionaire. I'll stay weaving at my loom, be no trouble to my groom, if he'll keep the piles of a money mountain. In our cottage there will be a soundproof nursery, not to wake my baby while I'm counting. I like the old-fashioned flowers, violets are for me, have them made in diamonds by the man at Tiffany. I want an old-fashioned house with an old-fashioned fence and an old-fashioned million. Just a pilgrim at heart, oh so pure and genteel. Watch me in Las Vegas when I'm at the spinning wheel. I want an old fashioned house with an old fashioned fence and an old fashioned millionaire. I'll ask for such simple things when my birthday occurs. Two apartment buildings that are label hers and hers. I want an old fashioned house with an old fashioned fence and an old fashioned millionaire. I like Chopin and Bizet and the songs of yesterday, string quartets and Polynesian carols. But the music that excels is the sound of oil wells as they slurp, slurp, slurp into the barrel. Our little home will be quaint as an old parasol And instead of carpets I'll have a money wall to wall I want an old fashioned house with an old fashioned fence And an old fashioned million See a little stroll down memory lane. Why not, Chess? Strolling. Just strolling. In the cool of the evening. I don't envy the rich in their automobiles.
The Kozieks are currently appearing in the Paul Daniels show at the Opera House Blackpool. And Paul Daniels will be among the guests in the main attraction at 9 o'clock next Saturday evening.